Hello, my name is Mark with RAN 3D, and I'd like to take a moment to show how to import points using an Excel file. Uh, often, if a user is trying to place many points in space using the point command and trying to type in each coordinate can take quite a while. So embedded inside Katia is a uh, Excel file that uh, tries to streamline that process for us. So the first aspect is trying to find where this file is located. Uh, if we go into our install directory, so C drive, document or program files, Dassault systems, choose the version of or the build of Katia that's being used. Win B26 code file and inside the command folder. Now there's a whole bunch of different documents here. Uh, the one we're looking for is gsd underscore points spline loft from Excel. Now as the name indicates we'll be able to build just points, points with splines passing through them so curves, or being able to build a loft or multi-section surface blending through those functions. There is another one here for older versions of Katia, anything prior to uh, our revision 12, but uh, we'll go with this one here and open it up in Excel. Now Excel might have a security setting telling you that uh, there are macros embedded in this and do you want to enable them? It usually pops up across the top here. If that happens, a yellow little bar, you can click on enable. And then uh, we also need to have Katia up and running. So let's put this off to the side. Within Katia, you have to have the part open in which you want to place these points, lines, and planes. So we'll call this demo. Now we have a standard part file open. We have the Excel file open. Now we can customize this if need be. You can always right click on the left hand side and say insert and insert more rows or columns. So I can come in here and say I want to build a point at zero in the X at uh, 75 in the Y and 40 in the Z. And it will add uh, an extra point to this spline that's going to be built. I got three splines total being created uh, and one loft being created or one multi-section surface through all of it. So with that modification, I'll now be able to run the macro. The macro is built into Excel. So taking this file, we go to View and Macros. Now there are three different macros, one for placing points, one for placing uh, curves, and one for building the loft itself. If we go to the main macro here, and hit run, it gives us a way of choosing which one of those macros we want. So I'm going to start with just placing the points. So type in one, hit OK, and all the points are placed in position relative to those coordinates. Now I'm going to undo that, go back to my Excel document, click on macros, choose main, and run. Type in two. This is going to place the points and build the splines passing through them. Spline started at start curve, it ends at end curve, and then the next one starts and so on. Now, if I undo that, come back in here, macros, run, choose three. It's going to place the points, place the curves, and build the surface. Now, the reason I wasn't able to run that three separate times without hitting undo is it would have duplicated and made a triple version of the same points every single time as it starts in the beginning, whether you choose one, two, or three. The uh, only other note that I would make is the location that I navigated to in this file uh, might differ on the different custom installs of Katia. Uh, what you just saw was the default installation of Katia. So for most users, it would be very similar to that path, if not the same thing. I hope that was beneficial, and uh, have a great day.